Hey everyone, so this is the Coach Quilted Tabby 26 in Vivid Pink. And this is a really unique bag for me because it was during their fall fashion week runway show, I believe. And it was limited production. And I believe they are bringing this style bag back this spring. So if you missed your chance to get it during that runway show you definitely have another chance to get it so as you see it is the same silhouette as a tabby 26 just has this quilted um pattern and it is made of genuine napa leather as you see here imprinted and the back has this really cool magnetic pocket so it is magnetic and I just feel like it feels really nice and I'm glad that they implemented a little magnet for it so that things won't really fall out especially if you put like parking tickets and stuff in there and it can also fit my iPhone 14 Pro Max so it does have a case and a pop socket so it's a little bit thicker but it fits just fine so if you prefer to put it in the back pocket you definitely can so it does have this cool braided chain um similar to the chanel flat bag chain um, i'm pretty sure that's what it's inspired by you can make it crossbody and longer if you'd like or just double it up as a shoulder bag which is my favorite way to wear it so the opening is a little clasp and it does have a magnetic flat pocket in the front as well, which again, reminds me of a Chanel flat bag. And it is canvas lining on the inside. It does have feature the zipper pocket in the middle, like the regular Tabby 26 does and has coated canvas on the inside lining of that one as well. So it is a little bit more spacious and malleable because this bag is squishy unlike the regular tabby 26 so i do feel like this bag can fit a little bit more than the regular tabby 26 and i'll show you guys what can fit in this bag so i have a card case here and i'm gonna actually add the card case to the front flap here the front pocket is also really good for cash so sometimes i will just throw in some cash in there and I don't have to fold it up. Next, I'm adding my iPhone, of course. It has to be able to fit my phone. And as you can see, it's pretty roomy. My phone fits in there. My phone's pretty big, but it looks pretty roomy. Next, we have a hand sanitizer and that fits in there just like that. I have a little compact case here and I'm putting everything in vertically just so there's a lot more room. I have some blotting paper as well. And these are pretty much my essentials. Like I try to carry these in every bag. Then I have um, a little bit bulkier item. I have some hand cream. This one is a little bit smaller, but fits in this bag pretty well. And next I do have a little thin compact mirror. I just like to carry this one around just because it's easy to pull out. And I'm actually gonna add this one in the middle compartment. In the middle compartment, I also add feminine products like pads. I don't have any with me right now, but usually I'll add that in there. So this little pouch is what I use to have all of my little mini essential things. I usually carry this pouch around from bag to bag, but because this is not a very big bag, I'm going to take out some of the things that I wanna take with me for this bag and It'll just be a couple of items just because I know I don't need a lot when I carry this bag around. I'm usually not out all day or anything like that. And I'm also going to be adding a pen in there. So I have my Pilot Friction pen. I have a bunch of these because they're the best. And I'm going to add my little lip lippy here and also my concealer. And I think I'm not going to take the serum. I do have this Tatcha serum, but I don't really think I need to bring that serum with me. So we'll add it in just like that. And those also fit vertically. So see what I mean? Like you can have a lot of space if you put it in there vertically and everything closes really easily and nicely. And that's how it looks with everything in it. As you see, it doesn't look very bulky, but it is kind of puffy. So it feels comfortable. And I really enjoy carrying this bag. I think it's such a cute bag. It goes really well with bright outfits, with black outfits, and it's just like that nice pop of color.
I'm also going to show you guys that a Kindle does fit. So this is the Kindle 10th generation, I believe. It's a smaller one and it fits just like that. So as you can see, there's plenty of room for the Kindle and other things. I can even pop like my hand sanitizer in there and my phone in the back. And you'll definitely still have room for other things. So a Kindle does fit for those of you guys who are looking to fit like an iPad mini. I believe that should also fit as well. Although it might be a little bit wider than the Kindle. So it may not close as nicely as this one does. You can also add the phone in the back if you feel that it's getting too bulky and it will close just fine. So now I'll show you guys an overview of everything that was in the bag so you can see what all fits. So as you can see, a lot goes into this bag, even though it's not really big. It's definitely a medium sized bag, but I feel like a lot can fit in here, like a good amount of essentials and even a Kindle. So I feel like there is definitely a lot of room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if there are any coach bags you would really like to see. I do have a pretty extensive coach bag collection and would love to do more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.